Hey, welcome everyone. This is Darren Kidd. Appreciate you watching. Welcome all replay viewers. And do me a favor, even if you're watching this replay, it may even be on YouTube. Um, you know, what put in the comments below where you're watching from, what city, what state, uh, what province in Canada, Canada uh, what country, because you know, even just on the YouTube channel, we now have people watching from over uh, 50 countries, you know, over 1,700 uh, subscribers the last 28 days, and so we're really gonna put a lot more content on that. But uh, even if you're watching this on Facebook, again, make sure you comment where you're, where you're watching from. Now, today, what I wanted to do was give you a tip that was uh, taught to me um, from a billionaire that completely changed my world world. And I don't know about you, but uh, welcome, Charles. Uh, when I hear something, and, and maybe I'm just weird, but when I hear something that I know that has a chance to impact my life, uh, and one, it's free, and two, it's something that I can do. I get really excited. So maybe I'm just excited about this because um, it was free, and it was something that I could do, and it worked. So all three of those things made a major difference um, in my life. And so here's, here's who Paul J. Meyer was, the billionaire that I was very fortunate, myself and, and a few other friends. It was about 40 of us. Every single summer, we would fly into Salado, Texas, into a place called Summers Mill. It was a Christian retreat center, and he would block it out, and he would have uh, about 40 leaders fly in. And then what he did, his philosophy was you make the strong stronger. And so what he would do is he would fly in different people to uh, teach us, train us, coach us, and really help us take our business and our life to the next level. And what I loved about Paul J. Meyer um, was the fact, hey, Monique, great to see you too. Um, what I liked about the fact that, that Paul Meyer was all about having a balanced life, okay? He, he talked about the wheel of life. You have spiritual, physical, social, financial. If you, you know, separate your life into all those different areas, if you work all the time and you sacrifice your health to gain wealth, that's a flat spot in your wheel. If you work all the time and you lose your family, that's a flat spot in your wheel. So it's all about having a balanced life. And so when he would fly these people in to teach us and train us, um, we learned some things that you know obviously completely changed my world considering the fact I was bankrupt 25 years ago and car repossessed and a college dropout and depressed and didn't have a lot of hope. But let me tell you how Paul J. Meyer got started because this one simple thing that I'm going to teach you that is free and that is something that you can do and something that will work in every aspect of your life, I want you to really understand who Paul J. Meyer was. At 19, um, he had a speech impediment and he was you know, fired from, I forget the number, it was something crazy, like 20 different uh, careers. And they're like, look, you're in the wrong profession. You can't even speak properly, but yet, let your try, yet you're trying to, like me right now, can't even speak, uh, wicks in my merds. Um, he goes, you can't even uh, speak properly, but yet you're trying to sell something. And by 26, he was one of the highest paid insurance agents in the world. He broke records that still have not been broken. He passed away several years ago at 80 some years old. And, you know, and, and, and we went out and here's what happened. He was selling someone a life insurance policy and a friend of his was with him who was a pastor. And at the end, this guy, even though he was very influential in, and I believe it was in Florida, the story that he was telling us. And at the end, what he did was he helped this guy. He drew the wheel of life and he showed him how to set goals in every area of his life, physical, spiritual, financial, social, and so on. And when he left, the friend that was with him said, Paul, you're in the wrong business. You didn't look at him as how he was. You looked at him as how he could be with his God-given potential. You sold him a life insurance policy, but then you changed his life. And so that's when Paul went out and he started SMI, Success Motivation Institute. And he ended up having, you know, long story short, 40 companies in 60 countries that did billions of dollars. He gave away over $400 million to charity. He paid for over 1,000 kids a year to go to college every single year. And even though he passed away years ago, he had foundations and charities and things set up that still pay every single year now for a lot of different things. And so I've never seen one human being do what Paul Meyer uh, did that, was, that I personally knew and was coached by. And also, if you, how many of you have ever heard of, you know, John Maxwell? Drop a comment below if you've heard of John Maxwell. Well, he's one of the top leadership coaches in the world. Presidents ask him to fly in and they meet with him all over the world. He's, you know, the number one, uh, the number one leadership expert in the world. Well, if you read some of his books and if you go back and now you'll pay attention, he goes, listen, the day that changed my life is when someone approached me and he goes, what's your personal plan for growth? And he he said, I don't have one. And they introduced him to Paul Meyer's course. 
So back in January, I was actually having dinner with John Maxwell and I go, hey, I work with someone for about a decade that had a lot of great things to say about you. And he goes, who is that? When I mentioned Paul J. Meyer, John Maxwell, he lit up and he told everyone at the dinner table, he's like, let me tell you about Paul J. Meyer. He sacrificed lunch meals, he sacrificed vacations and all of this stuff to save up the money to buy Paul Meyer's course. He said, Darren, I just took that course on stage with me here a while back because I still have that course. And so that's who Paul J. Meyer was. So here's the story. Here's the tip. Now, this, this secret tip, this magic ingredient, he actually had a CD called The Magic Ingredient. If I made each one of you send me $10,000 just to give you this one little tip, right, for Free Tip Friday, it would be worth its weight in gold. That would be like buying it at the dollar store, getting the best deal ever. Okay, so drop a comment in the low, below if you're ready to get the free tip that I'm going to give you today that's absolutely going to change um, your world. All right, here's what it is. Now, when I first share this tip, some of you may go, oh, that's all I need to hear, and you're going to click off immediately. You're going to miss it. You're totally going to miss it. You have to listen to what, when I say it, it's going to seem so simple, but yet that's the beauty of it. It is simple, and I've used it in every aspect of my life. So here's what it is. Um, Ken Blanchard, which a lot of us, we've heard, he's one of the top leadership coaches in the world as well. You walk into Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, he has books that are everywhere. Ken Blanchard Daddy actually went into Paul Meyer's office and said, I don't understand. I don't understand. And Paul Meyer's like, what's that? Why is there more information available than ever before? Look, you can Google anything on your phone and there's more than you could ever possibly read in a lifetime. And by the way, if you're getting some nuggets, drop some comments below. Like you know, if you're getting some good information, if you want to tag someone, you want them to hear this, make sure to tag them in the comments below as well. And so what he did was he, um, he goes, why is there more information available? Health, wealth, finances, relationships, but people are still struggling with those same things. And Paul Meyer goes, that's easy. They're missing the magic ingredient. And the magic ingredient is spaced repetition. And what's interesting, I was going to, I already had in my mind, I was going to do this real quick before I had to run out the door. And I was listening to a Rick Warren message who wrote The Purpose Driven Life, okay, while I was shaving and fixing my hair this morning. And he, he, he talked about a study that they did with the U.S. Army and that 90 to 95% of what you hear, you forget within 72 hours. Okay, so if, same thing. If you're reading a book, things that you hear, we, we forget most of it. So space repetition, let me put it in perspective. How many of you have ever done some type of martial arts? Put a comment below, right? If you've done some kind of martial arts. I've done martial arts for over 30 years. I know enough to get beat up, right? Now, I'm not like some ninja friends of mine that I'm friends with on Facebook that are, you know, UFC fighters and MMA, you know, they're ninjas. They're real ninjas, okay? I know enough to get beat up. But I could show you some basic, you know, martial arts moves, self-protection, right? So, and self-defense moves. And let's, it could be something as simple as keeping your hands up and how to throw a punch and, you know, turn your fist and put your body into it or just block. And let's say you practice for an hour and, and you look perfect, but then tonight you go out to dinner and you're walking to your car and it's dark and someone jumps out from behind a, a, a van and they're going to try to knock you out and then rob you. And they swing at you, but instead of you doing something so simple, just like putting your guards up, you throw your hands out and you scream. Why did you do that, right? Why did you do that when you were doing it perfectly, right? Earlier in the day, you look like an expert. It's called muscle memory. I had a UFC, a friend of mine that's a UFC fighter, and he was telling me, Darren, you're, that's so true. He said it takes 10,000 reps before something becomes muscle memory. Bruce Lee used to talk about how when he would get into a fight, it would be like it was an out-of-body experience and he would sit back and he would just watch his body go. Well, you have to rep your mind like you rep your muscles in the gym. Over 52% of what we retain is after the fifth time that we hear it, we see it, or we read it. Did you get that? Over 52% of what we retain is after the fifth time we hear it, see it, or read it. Have you ever read a book again one more time or listened to another audio or YouTube video and you go, man, where was that before? It was like somebody went in and re-recorded it. They added pages to that book. They really didn't. But what happened was it's not that the information change, we change. And so what I will do, like in the mornings when I get ready, my routine, I don't wake up and watch Bad Morning America, right? It's not Good Morning America. It's Bad Morning America because it's all negative stuff. And, and I learned from, it was either John Maxwell or who it was that the first, or maybe it was Rick Warren, the first seven minutes of your day set your whole day up. So I'm, what I'm listening to, for example, this morning, it was Rick Warren. 
I will take a message and listen to that same message sometimes 10 times, 10 times in a row, right? I'll find something about business and I'll listen to the same audio book over and over and over and over again. I will rep it so many times till I know the jokes they're getting ready to say. I know um, what they're getting ready to talk about. I know the bullet points. That's how you ingrain it in your brain. And so the good thing is I use that for my spiritual life. I use that for my business life. If I'm learning something when it comes to health and wellness and fitness, I will continue to go over that over and over and over again. And it has made a complete difference in my life in everything that I do. Right, so spaced repetition. If that makes sense, drop a comment below. It's something so simple, but yet so important because it's a waste of time really to watch something once. For example, like this video today, you could go back and watch this. This is what Paul Meyer would tell us to do with this program. He would say, go listen. He would give us a course and he would say, look, I don't even really like giving you this course because I would rather charge you several thousand dollars because people, they tend not to treat it very serious if it's free. And he was right. Some people would just get the course and they would throw it in their closet and never even listen to it. And so what he would do is each of the lessons were about 15 or 20 minutes. And he would go, listen, I want you to listen to the first lesson five to six days in a row before you go on to lesson number two. And then he would say, I want you to review the notes every single day after you listen to the 15, 20 minute audio program. And I can tell you, I started to get it because some of you've heard me joke before, I may not be fast, but I'm slow. <laughs> I just don't get things right off the bat. I have to hear them over and over and over again. So I'm just curious, you know, this, again, if you may go, Darren, this is so simple. How did that change your world? Trust me, it changed my world. So tag some of your friends, tag your family members, and uh, let them know. I've had some, <clears throat> you know, some people that have reached out to me that are having a rough time in their life. And what I will do is I'll recommend some videos to them. And, and if they want me to hold them accountable, you know, I'll go, hey, listen, I want you to listen to this once a day, every day for the next five days, right? And just text me when you do that and, and let me know what you got out of it. Now, what's really bad is I don't know if I've had any of them ever text me back lately. No, never, none. You know, it's, it's accountability is a choice. And so use this one little tip to go out there and start implementing in different areas of your life. And I would love to see in a week or two, you know what, message me back and let me know um, if it made a difference for you like it made a difference for me. So we appreciate everybody watching. Um, I'm gonna do a lot more live streams and I'm you know, probably gonna do some on my business page. So if you're in like the home-based business world, the network marketing profession, which is growing at an, a, a crazy fast rate, okay, they're saying in the next, uh, by 2020, one fourth, I'm sorry, 40% of North Americans will do some type of freelance work like Uber, Lyft, Etsy, you know, some type of network marketing, home-based business, direct sales company. Uh, one in five people in the next 12 months that have never joined one will join one. And so I'm gonna continue to give you tips and techniques because that was another thing that I learned. Why would I waste my whole life trying to figure out what to do right when I can find someone that has the results that I want and I can listen to them and shave those months or those years off my learning curve. So hope everybody has an awesome day. Put this into use. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you, and we will see you on the next live stream. Take care.